Lighters up, Sagittarius. Are you are you losing your spark this week, Sagittarius? It's your girl, the Stoner Girl Tarot, back with another reading. This is a reading letting you know about the current energy between you and the person that you're thinking about or the situation you're in, whatever that may be. If you haven't already, roll up with me, light up with me, drop down in the comments. Let me know what you are smoking on. And if you don't smoke, no worries. You're still more than welcome. Sagittarius, this is a general reading. Everything is not going to fit. So um, take whatever applies and let the rest fly. I am offering personal readings. I'm accepting Venmo payments only right now. $7.77 for one question and $12.12 for two questions. Look me up on Instagram and you'll see more uh, information on how to order one of those, okay? So Sagittarius, in the recent past, we have the Knight of Cups in the upright. This is meaning that someone could have came and offered a love message, told you how they feel about you. Um, this could be you as well. They could have put you in this energy of because of the things that they told you, they could have made you fight for it. Um, like you felt that it was something worth fighting for this person, this connection was something worth fighting for. But ultimately, it didn't work out. Things could have fallen apart. There could have been a separation, a breakup. But, you know, for some of you, I feel that you're dealing with someone who is coming in to offer you love, uh, coming in with an, a love offer. You may be put in this energy where you're like defending yourself against this person and it's like don't don't come to me just because your other shit didn't work out with this ten of pentacles in reverse you know the option that you had that you left me for that you were spending so much time with don't come back when that didn't just because that didn't work out you know like i'm not a rebound for some of you currently the current energy four of wands in reverse this is telling me that um, this could, you either have or will come to the realization that this, nothing about this situation, nothing about this relationship was stable. It wasn't giving you anything that you wanted. It wasn't supporting you. He or she was not supporting you. Six of Wands in reverse talks about, you know, this person could have not been giving you attention. It just wasn't successful with this person. And so you're getting in this energy where, you know, you're you're OK if it doesn't work out. You're OK if it, you know, if it has to end. You're OK if you have to move on for this from this person. You've gotten clarity. And you're okay about it. This six of wands in reverse, this could be you, Sagittarius. Um, because that person was not giving you what you needed or wanted, it could have forced you to work on yourself. And that's what the eight of pentacles is about. You could have been either working on yourself, focusing on work, more important shit, or just focusing on someone giving you what you wanted or, you know, focusing on the type of relationship that you wanted. Okay. And as far as the outcome, right now, the outcome is someone is in this energy of accepting the fact that things didn't work out, accepting the fact that this was a loss. Okay. Um, Someone may have put more energy into this connection than the other person. And so someone is left feeling like, well, you know, shit, I didn't. I spent all that time and effort and I didn't get anything out of it. And again, this could because, like I said before, you could have been someone's option or. You could have had options yourself and this person or this situation just didn't cut it for you. And so you're like, uh. You know, chalk, chalk, chalk up my losses and, you know, just leave it, leave it where it is. It is what it is. Six of Pentacles upright.
clarifying that we have the seven of swords to me this is telling me some of you because of all of this shit like i said someone could have just had you in a third party situation or it was known that this person was seeing other people or you know something of the like and it could have put you into this um low vibrational energy it could have made you mad when you stopped and realized that you were giving and giving and giving and this person wasn't. And so you could have taken a loss, you know, with the, the Ten of Pentacles up here. You could have taken a loss because we go from six to seven to six. So you could have lost something and it could have put you in this energy of, you know, fuck you. I'm going to get my lick back, you know. This could also just indicate that you could have cut someone out real, real bad. You could have spoke someone out real, real bad. You know, like, how fucking dare you take from me? Even if it was your time, effort, and energy, like, that's not free. You know, it could have taken away from you um, working on yourself. So with the outcome here, um, Sagittarius, you could be put into this energy, or if you want to reverse it, your person could be put into this energy, especially if they see that you are spending time with someone else. And this new person is giving you, you know, what you wanted. They're giving you, they're recipro reciprocating your energy. And it may put them into this like petty ass energy. Next to that, we have the devil card, which of course is uh, Capricorn energy. This is, let me clarify this. Some of you, like I was feeling, some of you, because of the, the energy I was just talking about, some of you are going to hear from this person, this codependent, this lustful um, person, someone that you know is toxic. It could have been a great sexual relationship. Some of you are manifesting a conversation with them. Or some of you, because of the shit that they did, you manifested someone better. And it's putting them here. And again, you still may hear from them. Yeah, they don't want to let you go. And this could be a situation of you could be dealing with a Scorpio. But this could be a situation of, yeah, I may not want you or I may not even be ready for you. But I don't want anyone else to have you. The Magician card is Gemini Virgo energy. Yeah. You could be, I'm hearing for some of you, you could be hearing from someone that called you toxic. This person may want to reveal some shit or like, you know, reveal something about the situation that you may not have known or they feel like you would not understand. It's a lot of major arcanas here in the outcome, Sagittarius, so be on the lookout for that. This is Cancer Energy. Some of you will just come to the conclusion that, you know, I had feelings for you before, but I don't have those feelings now. You know, and they don't want to let go of you. So Sagittarius, that is your reading. Bottom of the deck, High Priestess. Forgot about that. Um, this is Pisces energy. Again, this is someone where you had a deep spiritual bond connection with this person some of you f could feel like this person could be like a soulmate or a karmic or um some of you especially with this magician card here like this is to me is like manifestation energy like you're either manifesting a new person that's going to treat you right or you're manifesting this toxic person back and some of you may be doing that because, again, you could have taken a loss with this person, you know, whether it be your emotion, an emotional loss. You know, it didn't work out like you thought it would financial. You could have lost material shit with this person. Some of you could manifest this person back. Some of you Sagittarius may be a little petty, too, because you may just want to manifest this person back just so you can turn them down. All right. But for the other but for the other half of the collective, I feel that you're manifesting this person back, this person that, you know, it didn't work out with. It was toxic. It was um, could have just been like a sexual relationship. And you're manifesting this person back. OK, 
So Sagittarius, leave me a comment. Let me know if this resonates and I'll talk to you later. Bye.